The FR Sky XJT 2.4 GHz module is a great companion with the Turing G9X or TH9X transmitter. For sake of this video, we'll be focusing on the module on the TH9X, which is the original model that the TH9X clone off of. Anyways, enough of the transmitter, let's get to the installation and review. Out of the box, you'll get the XJT module, a 2.4 GHz with antenna, and instructions manual with decent Chinglish. When I installed it for the first time, I hit a barrier, literally. The module had a plastic around the pin that prevented the module from being inserting. However, after removing the plastic, the module was not as tight as I wish it was. What I did to fix it is add a couple of layers of duct tape on both sides and boom, it was a perfect fit. The binding process was a breeze. I bound the transmitter to a X4R SB receiver on my Shrek by simply holding down the button on the receiver and plugging in the battery. On the transmitter side, you do the same, hold down the button and powder it on. When I first flew with the module, I instantly feel a lot more confident with the link to my copter. I did feel the response time increase since I was running SBUS over the traditional PWM. With the beeper built into the module, it audibly tells me how strong my connection is. Usually, 1-2 to two beeps is the most I will go. 3-4 to four beeps means the signal is getting weak and I'll have a long walk of shame if I lose control. Having an RSSI is a great feature anyone should have on the transmitter for the safety of their aircraft. The XJT is a great investment to equip with the Turing G9X transmitter. I personally think the Turing G9X is already a great budget transmitter any beginner should start off with. However, having it equipped with the XJT, you won't break the bank while flying on a reliable FR Sky connection.